pan automation basically works the same way that volume automation works. You can record data that allows you to change your panning during the song. So, you know, first verse or first whatever, you know, he says it's on the left side and then he switches to the right side or he's got a bomb on the left. So what you can do is open up your track and make sure that you're on your pan view. Once you're on your pan view, you can use whatever tool within the smart bar to kind of just manipulate the panning. You can actually see the degree of panning right at the top. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it and move it all around and add all different types of types, different types of panning. Um, what I could also do is copy this panning to the next track by just highlighting it and copying it. So once I go to the grid and grab it, I can kind of just copy it, make sure I bring it down to my bottom one as well. Um, I just gotta make sure I know. Grab these two, grab these bottom ones. So when I play them, you actually see on my board the paintings move as it plays. Same thing with the faders.